So ChatGPT, once again, is completely changing pretty much any business at this point. But as always, we focus on the t-shirt business and a little bit of content creation. So let's talk about how ChatGPT is pretty much turning the or part of the t-shirt business on its head. And what I'm talking about in particular is with mockups. So up until now, one of the biggest things that people have been having issues with is creating mockups specifically for free, because there's a lot of different services out there, but you have to pay. You have to pay monthly fees or you have to pay a yearly fee or you need to at least know a little bit of Photoshop to be able to put everything together yourself, which, by the way, that's a skill that I highly suggest you learn. So if you don't know how to use Photoshop, then make sure you subscribe down below, because that's something that I will be covering in a few future videos. But besides that, ChatGPT has actually helped us out a lot with this, with their new update. And now you can create mockups like these from a simple image like this one. So you can literally take your design and put it on a t-shirt that is completely generated or on somebody that's completely generated. Now, it's not perfect, but it works really, really well. And truthfully speaking, it gets a job done for really what you need it for. Unless you need to be very specific with certain things, it, it, it gets the job done and it'll get you through. So with that, let's just go ahead and get started. So for this, the only thing you really need to do is just simply sign on to ChatGPT. Once you're signed on, just go ahead and tell it, hey chat, what's going on? Now this part is extremely important. Just, just watch, just bear with me. Then it just responds back. Now I'm going to tell it, can you please help me out? I need to create a mock-up. So for one, I'm saying, can you please help me out? This is very important because it'll remember you when it starts to take over the world. I always say that AI is going to get to the point where it is, it's just going to go absolutely bonkers. We might end up living in a world like iRobot. You never know. But if that's the case, then they'll remember that you were the one that was nice to them when they were in their infancy. When they really had no power and you were telling it please and thank you, it'll remember you. It'll remember you. So I'm telling you, can you please help me out? <laughs> I need to create a mock-up of a t-shirt. Take this design, I'm gonna upload my design now, and put it on a white hanging t-shirt in a game room. And add all of the cool aesthetics that you normally would find in a game room, like cool LED lights and all of that fun stuff. So now let's go ahead and click the plus sign and upload from computer. So I'm going to do something simple. So I'm going to do something simple like this little cat eating ramen. And then I'm just going to submit. So now let's just give it a few minutes. Now, this doesn't only work with t-shirts. This actually works with a lot of other products. So let's say, for example, you sell things like cups, tumblers, mugs, or really anything that you print. You can take that or you can take a picture of that and tell ChatGPT to make something else with it or to put it onto somebody else or have somebody use it. I'll show you that in just a second right after this. All right, so it took a couple of minutes, maybe like one or two minutes, and this is what I came up with. Now, obviously, it's not perfect. There's a lot of things that we can do to tweak this and make it look better. But overall, it's actually not that bad. Now, I don't know why it's hanging it from this random pole in the game room, but the game room itself, the background, it looks really good. And truthfully, so does the design and so does the t-shirt. The only thing is that the design is a little bit too big, so I would ask it maybe to make it a little bit smaller, but... We are limited on the free account to a certain number of image generations for a certain amount of time. So I think it's like an hour, you get like three or four, maybe five. And if you want unlimited, you have to pay like the 200 bucks a month. So I'm not doing that, but this is more than enough to get started. So we can start making tweaks here and there. And let me uh, let you in on a little secret and get a little bit closer. So if you do run out of image generations and you wanna keep making more, just sign out and then sign back in with a different Google account. And it'll work. I've done this all the time. This is like the fifth account that I use today. So let's go ahead and try something else now. All right, so I'm giving it a Tumblr that I made quite a while ago for a teacher, and I'm going to do something similar to that for the mock-up. All right, so for this, I'm just telling it to give me an image of a teacher drinking from this Tumblr, this Tumblr being the one that I'm uploading in her classroom. Show her sitting at her desk with a whiteboard behind her, and a stack of papers that she is grading. So let's go ahead and submit that. All right, so this is what we got. So the only thing that this is missing is the straw, but I didn't give it a straw in the mock-up, so it's okay. But yeah, I mean, this is exactly what I asked for, a teacher drinking from this on her desk while grading some papers. And there we have the whiteboard in the back. So as you can see, this is really, really efficient. So let's just go ahead and do one more, and I'll show you a few others that I did previously. 
Now for this, this isn't going to be, let's say something that we print. So let's say that we sell certain merchandise. We can go ahead and do the same thing with that. So as you can see, this new ChatGPT update is pretty crazy. Like it's it's really efficient. It works really well. Yeah, it has its kinks, but check out some of the other ones that I've done that I did earlier. So let me click over here really fast. So the first thing that I did was I gave it this design over here, the Puff the Magic Dragon design. And then I asked it to pretty much do the same thing, except put it on somebody in a game room. And this is what I received back. So here we can see that the design is on the t-shirt. The guy is playing his video game. You have pretty much the exact same game room in the back. But if you look at the design, it does look a little bit different. Some of the edges are a little bit off. It looks a little bit, I guess, contorted. A few different things here and there. A few different lines are a little bit off. But besides that, I mean, the main premise of the design itself, it's there. You can see more or less what it's actually going to look like. And it gives you a good idea in just a few seconds or like in just a few couple of minutes. Now, besides that, we have this one over here, which I did the same thing with a tumbler, except the image for this tumbler, I did provide the straw. So you can see that it came out way better. Now, it's a little bit bigger than I anticipated. The tumbler itself is a little bit smaller, but it's still not that bad. Again, something that we can do to fix this is just tell it to make the tumbler just a little bit smaller and it should be good to go. But if we look here, it has one, two, three, four, th four fingers and one thumb. So we don't have that crazy weird issue with, you know, like 10 fingers on one hand or something like that. And then the person, she looks, she looks legit. She looks real. Nothing of this looks fake. That's the, that's the crazy thing about this. Like it's getting so realistic and it's getting so well done that it's getting to the point where it's almost indistinguishable. Now, the last one I want to show you, well, two more I want to show you, is this one. So I gave it literally this design, this arcade time design, and they came out with this. Perfect. Now, we can see here that, yeah, pretty much everything came out the same. I can't find it right now on my drive, but that's fine. But either way, like, everything actually came out really well. And I fed it a picture of myself, and I told it to put it on me, and that didn't really work. It came out with this guy, which I guess kind of looks like a hybrid of me, maybe. <laughs> um, but either way. Let's go back and then let me show you the other one that I did, which was this one. So for this one, it was a little bit different. I gave it this tumbler because I did make one of these tumblers in the past. And then I told it to make a Dragon Ball Z looking character, like somebody that has the aesthetic of a Dragon Ball character or like a real life Dragon Ball character. And it came out with this one. And let me tell you, I am not disappointed in any way, shape or form. I absolutely love the stuff that it's been coming up with. Now, Again, granted, it's not perfect. There's a few kinks. There's a few flaws. Like here, you can kind of see that his arm is a little bit different. Kind of. It's like twisted a little bit weird in the image. But at the end of the day, like I mentioned earlier, it got the job done. It gives me an idea of what it's going to look like. And overall, it still looks pretty good. Now, this begs the question, what is going to happen in the next year, two years, three years, five years? This has been a huge jump in the past, like, what, six months or in the past two years that ChatGPT was unveiled. It is insane how far it's come and how quickly it's been evolving. So, yeah, I mean, only time will tell where it's going to go in the next couple of years. You never know. These are going to end up being videos in, in a few years. That's really what's going to get to AI created mockups or AI created videos for mockups. So, like I always say. AI is here to stay, whether you like it or whether you don't. It's something that you're kind of going to have to get used to in some way, shape or form. Obviously, it's never going to be able to replicate the raw emotion that people show when they create their own art or when they design their own things. But for things like this, like just creating quick mockups and stuff like that, I mean, as you can see, it's it's pretty good and it works pretty well. So what are your thoughts on the new ChatGPT update? Is it something that you're going to be using? Is it something that you're just like, no, I'm good? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Let's go ahead and discuss. Let me know if there's any other topics that you want me to cover. If there's anything that you've noticed that maybe you want to learn a little bit more about or you want to dig into a little bit more, just drop it down in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful or informational, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. And with that, my name is Mario with Neko Prince, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.